Welcome to Bookable. In this video, you will learn how easy it is to customize the theme of your Bookable rental website. As you probably already know by now, you can easily create and host an engaging rental website straight from your Bookable account and apply your existing website domain to make it your own. This feature belongs in the online store tab in your Bookable sidebar menu and the process is made even easier by the ability to install one of our stunning website themes. The first step is to choose a theme that suits your rental business industry or brand. Even if you don't like the color scheme of this theme, this can be easily changed in the future. So it's best to choose a theme with a layout and page design that suits your business the most. Install the theme of your choice. And if you activate a different theme in the future, the content that you've created on the theme will not be carried over to the new website. However, the old theme is stored in this section here and can be reactivated at any time. On the Actions drop-down menu, you can change which of your themes is your current theme and you can also permanently delete an old theme. Before you hit that Customize button, you can first scroll down to where you can set up website pages and website menus. The tutorials for both of these steps are linked in the description box below, as it is important to complete these steps before you edit your theme styling, as this prevents you from having to repeat all of your theme styling adjustments for each of your website pages as you add them. Hit Customize, and the Bookable Rental Website Builder's Theme Customizer will open, and you can see that the pages have been added to my menu completed in the previous step. The first step is to adjust the theme styling, and these changes that you make now will apply for every page and every section that you add to your website. This will affect the colors, the text, and just the general styling of all of these sections that you add for your images, texts, uh, collection boxes, product cards, paragraphs, any slideshows that you see here. This is where we can set up the styling for that. And the first step is to adjust your colors. Within the colors section, you can create three color sets that differ from one another that you can apply to your different pages and sections of your rental website. Here, I want to change the earthy tones of this site to a more feminine color palette to match my wedding rental brand. You can always see how these colors will affect different elements of your website and suit different elements of your website and change them in the future. Here I am changing the buttons and the date selector block on my website to a pink color here. And once I'm happy with that, no need to hit publish. This is only for when you're ready to have your website go live. All of the changes you've made are automatically saved in Bookable. Next up is general styling settings. These settings allow you to choose the broader styling of your winter website, such as if you want a modern or classic style for your text, um, any image overlays for the background, as well as rounded or squared corners for your blocks and buttons. Your topography settings are where you can change the font and the size of your text. You can mix and match fonts of your choice and see that these apply to all of the text that you add to your homepage and additional website pages in the future. You can also change the size of your different texts. So for your main headings, your subheadings, and then your supporting subtext as well. And again, all of these changes are saved automatically and can always be adjusted in the future. For your image styling, you can choose to remove the placeholder image Bookable has chosen for your product cards and choose whether your images are set with a focal point or not. Now for social media. The icons to connect your customers to your social media channels appear at the bottom of your pages in the website's footer. Here, you can change the size and the size of the spaces between these icons and add in all the appropriate links. And finally, your cookie notice settings allow you to adjust the styling and text of your cookie notice pop-up that will appear when your customers visit your website. Here, you can choose to change the color set for this one. So these are the sets that we set up in the color settings of our theme styling, which you can always change in the future. 
and you can also change the title text as well as the contents text and the button text of this cookie notice. Next, you can edit your website header. First, you can remove or replace the placeholder logo that this theme has given you. You can also set up your logo in the general settings section of your bookable backend. Or you can just replace it with text of your own. Next, you can also adjust if the header bar, such as the menu, is stuck to the top of the screen when the customer is scrolling or not. This is a handy tool to allow the customer to quickly click into another page, no matter where they are on the screen. Other adjustments include editing the color set applied to the heading bar. So these are the color settings that we've set up in a previous step. And you can also adjust the placeholder text that the customer will see when using the search bar. We can also adjust the website menu's positions on the page and the size of the header box from above and beneath the text. You can then adjust the top bar of your website, which is a great location to display promotions and coupon codes you may be offering to your online customers. You can adjust the color set as per usual. You can also adjust the text and the icon that is displayed on the left-hand side within this particular theme. This is an optional website section and it will appear on each of your website pages. After you complete this step, it will be time for you to continue editing your homepage. We always recommend editing your homepage before your other pages, as you can really set up the styling and the layout that you want to carry over to your entire website. You can scroll through each website section and hide or permanently delete the section that you don't want. I can also go ahead to edit my footer. I can take out the website logo, edit the text, choose a color set, also choose the size of the spacing, and I can also apply my main menu here. So if the customer is towards the bottom of your website, they can always find their way back to the homepage for a different page. You can edit the space between the text and the space between the top and bottom of the footer. Here, if you have a section with multiple blocks, such as a product section with multiple products, you can hide or permanently delete the blocks that you don't want. So for me, I only want to display three products on my homepage for my best performing products. Click each block and select the product that you wish to display. This is also the same process if you're choosing to display a collection of different website collections or just images in general. It's all pretty self-explanatory in this theme customized tool. Once you have filled in your products, you can also scroll down to a section that you may want to edit, such as this slide section. Here I will have highlighted about a particular product. So for example, the theme has created a highlighter for the podium table. I'm going to replace their content to highlight a section about my wedding arch. So here I can add in a product link from the button. I can replace the text with wedding arch, for example, and I can also edit the supporting text that you see beneath it. This section of a slide is a really good way to highlight a particular product, but you can also use it to highlight a particular review, uh, a particular photo within your gallery, or any particular information in regards to your rental business. After completing the text, I can also scroll up to replace the image. This process of replacing the placeholder images with your own can be done across a lot of website sections, such as if we scroll up the image banner that we have here underneath the website header. Uh, this is the first thing that your customers will see when they enter your website page, if you have it. So it's really important to get the image right. 
You can upload your own image or you can search up an image using Unsplash. Unsplash is a royalty-free stock image database that you can choose uh, various different images to use on your rental website with Bookable. Continuing on with adjusting this section, we can of course edit the text and we can edit the styling as well as the text and the text links of the website buttons. Buttons are added in as an extra block underneath the image section. Back on the previous screen, uh, you can add buttons underneath any of your text or image sections that you add into your homepage or any of your bookable website pages. If you'd like to add an additional section to your rental website homepage or any of your pages, we can click the add section button and scroll through all of our choices. You can add in a collections section. We can add in a collection of your individual products. You can add in a text post. Here, I'm just adding a simple title and subtitle text post here. As usual, you can choose the color set that will apply for this block and you can move the position that it sits in your page. When you are ready to publish all your changes, you can hit that publish button. Uh, you can also add a custom domain to this website so that all the changes are live in your existing domain. You can find the tutorial for the custom domain uh, in the description box below. Now you can go ahead and edit the additional pages that you've added into your bookable rental website. For example, on the About Us page, you can have a contact form in which you can edit the text as well as the color set for. You can add in as many sections and as many section blocks to your pages as you wish. And you can repeat this process for all of your pages. All of the styling uh, changes we've made today will apply to all additional pages you add in to your rental website. To have finished adjusting all the sections and the styling of your rental website, a great thing to do is to do a test booking. This will allow you to experience firsthand what the customer will experience when they visit your rental website. Click the preview button on the theme customizer page to open up your rental website, to add in your dates and times, browse through your inventory or your particular collections, Click into a product to view the price and availability and go ahead and add this rental product to your shopping cart. And you're all set. You have now learned how easy it is to customize the theme of your bookable rental website.